Sabelo Todo presenta Los Mayordomos del Tango. My first tango festival I organized was 2011. And that was just a project that sounded fun to me. I had a great tango community full of all, all these supporting people that I had as staff. So I had a really good tango program. I thought, you know, it's time for a festival in Hawaii. So we had uh, all these separate venues I used that we were jumping around. We used the Honolulu Club. We used the Elks, the Elks Club in Waikiki. <clears throat> we used some nightclubs in old downtown Honolulu. And that was a big success. We had about 300 people. We had Murat Michel, Akiyoshi Noriko, Oscar Mandagaran in Georgina. We had Jorge Nell and, and Milena. We had good DJs all over. So over the years, uh, I think we did a pretty, pretty good event. I did a uh, Tango Festival in 2011 and also 2014. Then I took a break for a while. And then I thought about, hey, why not do, instead of all these classes and festival, I was thinking, they've been taking all these lessons, but now why not make a tango marathon that's based on the milonga itself with good music, good DJs. And it would be like a, a congress of people coming from all over the world to dance with people they don't know, which is what tango is. We connect with people you don't even know their name. 2018, yeah, I did a tango marathon. We had maybe about 150, 200 people and great DJs. This is a, a tango marathon for mature dancers, for experienced dancers. So I did one class just to let people introduce and just work together. One class more of a, like a, like a icebreaker. That's, that's all it was. It wasn't about the teaching because people already couldn't dance. And I did it the following year. And it was a lucky thing I did in 2019 because of course, everyone wanted me to do again in 2020, January, but guess what? Pandemic. Thank goodness that I did not organize it. So it's been a long time and I have not done any big festivals or marathon since. I'm still looking for a place. I really want to do another marathon because for me, that was total enjoyment to invite friends, musicians. The last marathon we had, we had nine musicians playing live music on the last day. We had uh, virtuosos from Honolulu, uh, Dwayne Padilla. We had... Uh, Uh, Frenchman Pierre Grill and he and also Miguel Roseman on piano and we had this beautiful violinist Windy Weather. I'm looking to see that again. Invite you know, invite my friends from all over. The best part about doing a marathon, something like this, low key, it's a one week long party. I'm secretly planning something. Everybody will be there. You know, one of my first experiences of seeing Tango itself was on a VHS tape. It was a copy of a copy of a copy. So it's totally blurred. But it, that VHS tape was given to my salsa partner who got it from a DJ in Orange County. So he had put together all these clips from performances in Los Angeles from the 90s. 2000, I met Christy Cote at the Portland, Portland October Tango Fest. And we danced the last song on the last night. I had the great fortune to actually meet and study with Carlos Gavito. And there was another maestro, still is Fabian Salas, who was another person who influenced both George and myself. When we finally did coincidentally meet at the Portland Tango Festival and had a dance, without, any, without saying anything, we realized that we really clicked, that we danced really well together and that we danced a similar style. And she asked me, where are you from? I said, Hawaii. She goes, How do you learn tango in Hawaii? I said, oh, by myself, watching videos. When we started talking about the dance, we also realized that we had similar concepts and ideas about the dance. So years later, she says, oh, I'm going to be working on a cruise in Hawaii. So we worked on the cruise ship, and that was a lot of fun. And about a couple years later, she just says, hey, uh, I'm working on a project. <laughs> Oh, uh, you want to help me with it? I'm making a tango video. When I had the chance to bring him into my Dance Vision project, which was creating a syllabus for Argentine tango and many, many instructional videos, I thought George is really the right person for that job. Um, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> it was a challenge. It was really quite a challenge. She said she wanted to work with me because I understood the lead follow, both as a follower and a leader, because in Hawaii, there was, I had to teach everyone. And it was Gavito that says, George, 
Learn the woman's role so you may teach it. Learn the role. Understand it. Uh, they see, the producer said, well, why do you choose a guy from Hawaii? It's so expensive to fly him here. She goes, well, he understands. He understands this business. He understands the, the focus, the goal, the project. He understands the ladies' part, the men's part. I really felt like George was had really done his homework. He'd really studied this dance. He was a very, very, and still is a very, very good tango dancer with complete understanding of the dance and its roots and culture and all of that. She had already been writing a manual and was uh, encouraged to create a, a video to go with the manual. And that was Dance Vision USA, Wayne Ng. So there's Christy coming to Hawaii, practicing with me, and we're working on the figures and steps. And we have bronze, silver, gold, tango. We did nine videos. That was kind of crazy. but. It was what an experience. A few years later, she says, hey, George, we need to do more. So we did six more videos. And then later she says, hey, let's do something. Let's do, let's do five more. So we decided on doing like strictly saccata, strictly boleo, strictly vocata, strictly cogata, strictly, I forget. <laughs> so there was 20. And then I think maybe about uh, seven years ago, let's see, it was I think 2014, 10 years ago, she goes, George, I have this idea. And no one wants to do it. No one thinks that it's possible, but I want to create a video based on the music. And every step we do, we want to demonstrate it as if we're in a social scene, do, dancing to a particular orchestra. All the steps would be totally within the music. The last four videos we did were based on actually listening to the music and then developing the sequence to, to the exact rhythm and flow of that particular phrase of music. So which was, it seems almost impossible. And George was absolutely the right person for that job. I, I, I was so impressed when, you know, we had these, these tasks, like I'd ask him, can we create a figure that, for example, includes two cicadas and a burrita and must fit into two phrases of music exactly with this particular song? <laughs> it wasn't all that hard if you're, you have experience as a dancer and the steps got more and more uh, complicated as they went, but it was a total en enjoyment to, to do. It was a big project. George would, would come up with something and it would just blow me away and it was perfect. Christy is an amazing person to work with. George was just the right person for that job. You know, actually dance has never been a business for me. It's always been something I consider sharing. I just want to dance and just bring something pure to the stage. And I always thought of it as a gift. So I was never intimidated by a stage or the cameras. It's, to me, it was always a gift of myself that I can give back to the tango world. What was the question again? Jeez, I need coffee.